Welcome back to Let's Play Star Tropics. It's chapter six. We're on sub C. Searching for Dr. Jones. Should be getting close. We've been chasing them all over these islands. True. I think we are getting close. I'm sick and tired of this archipelago. Oh, it might be the best level yet. Where the heck are we anyway? How do you do cola? Eh! <laughs> Jeez, you are old! <laughs> well, 200 years, yeah. How do you do cola? More like old folk home cola. <laughs> but it's 200 years in paradise, I mean. Very true. Are you a game master? I am. Well, not if it means memorizing Poe's poem. Yeah, we don't need to memorize that. Which one? Poe's poem? No. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of like the uh, the Maelstrom. What's it, the, the something of Anna, Annabelle Lee? Well, yeah. that's a good one. The the Telltale Heart. Oh, what's the one with the with the with the back and forth thingy that? Uh, the Raven? No, no. It's um. um the the, pit, the pit and the Pendulum. That's a pretty good one. Ah, I like that one. We were clearly. I should listen to that audio than I am. I got the guy was a psychotic weirdo. He wasn't a psychotic weirdo. He's just a drug addict writer. Right on, following these, uh, following this, uh, these eddies all the way through all these coral things, right? I guess it's coral, right? I mean, well, some yeah, too. that's definitely coral around these islands. Not a huge fan of sailing around these islands because every time you get back in the sub, you have to talk to Rob, and Rob's notoriously slow. I know, that's punishing. In this game and in real life. I don't understand. Okay, so you find an apple here, okay? Why is the apple in the dungeon? And why isn't there an apple tree? Why is it a big apple? Yeah, and why isn't it a pineapple? Well... Um, or anything. Why do you even bother getting the apple if it doesn't do anything? I don't know, I should stop going in there. Alert, alert! <sighs> yeah. Alert, you're moving slow. Well, no, you get, you get the apple so you can get Poe's poem, right? Or something like that? Well, that? But we already had that poem, like... We saw, we like met Poe, I thought. Like, TikTok. next to... On that island, remember? He was like, I'm a famous poet, what do you think about my poem? Yeah. Mm, okay, well, I don't know what the heck the apple's for. I don't even think that was a freaking. I don't even know if that poem, Poet, was named Poe. I feel so, like he's actually making a reference to Edgar Allan Poe. We actually we ate the apple already, so... You got a big heart! Eat that heart just like freaking the guy in Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. Mm -hmm. I guess he doesn't take a bite of it, does he? No, there, that, there's no apple heart. In Indiana Jones, but oh, I'm talking about the heart, the big heart. Oh, well, when he tears the heart out of the guy's chest. Could also be I don't think that happens in Indiana Jones. Wait, yes, it does. It happens in, yeah. in Temple, Temple of Doom. Doom. <laughs> but it's all—it's almost Valentine's Day. It could have something to do with that as well. Oh, that's true. That was sweet because when he got lowered into the lava, the heart burned in his hand. Did it? Yeah. Wait, they—they they put the the head guy into the lava freaking cage. See a movie, dude. I don't remember. I've seen that movie. I've seen it hell of times. Indy! Ooh. Rob Crusoe <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, Robinson Crusoe did not die on his island. He got uh, he got rescued. Inaccurate facts presented by Nintendo of America once again. There it is. Okay, it looks like we're getting closer here. Well, in their defense, though, it's not really Robinson Crusoe, it's Rob Crusoe-Cola. Oh, okay. Different character. Hmm. Well, if you choose to believe it, is, yeah. Alright, well... Let's see, getting close here... Getting something. Quite a maze. I guess for Star Tropics standards, this freaking game's on rails. Totally. <laughs> it's really on rails. <laughs> Talk to each damn character. God. Signal detected. I do seem to remember that kind of confusing me as a kid, like the times when you had to talk to each and every character, like when you missed one or something. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. See, so, it's saying captain, right? I don't get it. How is Mike the captain all of a sudden? Well... If Rob's not the captain, who else is? 
Nobody's the captain. The captain is Dr. Jones. Mike's the captain. Well, oh, somebody on the vessel has to be the captain. By law, someone is... Someone's in command. Okay. Somebody's the captain by law? Oh, yeah. Like, it's airplane, too. If there's, like, you know... If the captain only goes one down the... on the plane, then... That's the pilot in command. That's yeah. bullshit. If you're, like, a stowaway... Or if you don't know how to fly and everything is going sideways... All of a sudden, you're in charge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mutiny happens. <clears throat> Hopefully, there's not gonna be many mutinies on your airliner. Or on the subsea. <laughs> Man, I would punk Rob if there was a mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one that is there to get mutinies, after all. <laughs> hey, screw you, Mike. <laughs> You're no Dr. Jones. <laughs> God. Wait, what? More mummies. You got the purple ones. So predictable. Mummies and freaking bats. For some reason, these purple mummies kind of remind me of Christmas. For some reason, they're always recycling sprites in the NES library. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. This game is full of recycled sprites. Nice hit there. Yep, a lot of jumping. This game is a grind. Mm -hmm. Getting there, though. Shroom. How do those mummies get on this frickin' island? I can't swim. I'm not sure. It's a rather cruel trick, whoever put them there. They're all sitting here doing the frickin', what's the thing the where you fall everybody on the hips? You know, the... Oh, the conga? Yeah, the conga line. <laughs> mummy conga line here. I was gonna say, were they walking like an Egyptian, or...? No. Definitely mummy congas. And then... Maybe they were resurrected there, and then when they came to life, then they just started walking. And then they what just they kept eat? walking. Mummies don't have to eat. Well, but if they're resurrected, then... Are they still undead? Mummies yeah. don't have to eat? No, mummies don't eat. Well... I thought they ate, like, brains or, like, blood or something. Like, what about that evil mummy with that guy who played in Saint Oh, man. Oh, man. I guess, man, but I've never seen a mummy movie where they're actively searching for sustenance. sustenance. The last time I, I, mean, I saw the mummy movie, but it sucked, so I didn't know really... What's his name? Brandon Fraser? No. I don't think... That was Brandon Fraser. <laughs> I thought Brandon Fraser was in the Mummy movies. Oh, he was, but he wasn't the Mummy. He was the, no, he was the hero. He was the guy that was oh. killing the mummies. I don't know. I have a hard time taking anything he does seriously. I like Brandon Fraser. He he made some hits with Paul It's Shore. not that he's um I don't like him. It's just you know he's kind of a comedic person. You've seen him in Rock, man. Yeah, man. Pauly Shore, Brandon Fraser. That was almost as '90s as um, All Rats. Mm-hmm. No, it's more 90s than all rats. Think so? Oh god. I remember when uh Brandon Fraser made George of the Jungle. Yeah, that was when his career went downhill. That wasn't so bad. I mean, um especially <laughs> compared to the next George of the Jungle and Brandon Fraser didn't come back. Mm-hmm. At least he knew better. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like, <laughs> oh god. That's funny. Well there wasn't any plot in the second one anyways. Yeah. Wasn't it a made-for-TV movie? Second George of the Jungle? Didn't see it, I don't know. You didn't see the second George of the Jungle? The hell, man. You didn't see it. I didn't see either one of them. I know you didn't. No, it's not for lack of want. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think it is, though. Well, I think it was a lack of want for everybody, and those who did see it, they had no lack of want to have not seen it. <laughs> Well, the first one wasn't too bad. <clears throat> Again, I, I don't know, I think your memories might be getting crossed. Like a star-studded... Anyway. Alright. <clears throat> Mummy room, and then I think we're getting pretty close here. Yeah, it's getting close. I hate the mummies. Getting no, close. You gotta on every tile in this room to make sure you're not missing anything. No. Like, not doing it this time. Maybe that was too fast. That was cool. 
Good use for the last shoe. Yep. All right. Forget what this guy's name is. The evil Easter Island Big statue. Heck, yeah. Aren't the statues in Easter Island a bit more of a kind of a rectangular block? Aren't they a little cooler? <laughs> well, that too. In the sense that they don't attack you with little stone snakes? Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Nice. Got it. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. That was a great boss there. Um, until next time, keep those buttons moving. Check us out on Instagram or Twitter at RPG Bros. All right. <laughs>